Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going? I'm I'm doing well. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> my, my drawer opened. It popped open at the perfect time. <laughs> Oops, my drawer opened. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Hey, every now and then in this world, you get some happy mistakes. It was a good bit. That was a good bit. It was a good that bit. was a good bit. You know it's a bad bit, though. Mm. What's going on with you? How you doing? Whoa, what are so, do? It's dog sucking season. You've been spending a lot of time outside. How you doing? Answer my fucking question. How am I doing? Yeah. Good. You've been getting more into like being a country boy or something? What the hell's going on? I don't know. You tell me with your fucking trucker hat. Why are you wearing a trucker hat like it's Von Dutch 2006? <laughs> what are you doing? What? I don't. I, I got sure, it as a gift. I'm sure you did. Yeah. Who gave it to you? A prankster? <laughs> who, gave, who gave you that? That guy that runs around Hope Depot going like, Moon Chomping Pompy. What are you talking no, about? Oh, oh, I know. You know who I'm about. talking TikTok, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he the one that got that for you? Yeah, that's who it was, Frank. That's who gave it to me. <laughs> he said, stupid bitch. You gave, oh, it must have been Ashton Kutcher pranking you, punking you. Yeah. Where did, I mean, I'm sure it's a cool hat, and whoever gave it to you are probably nice people, but. Oh, now you're backtracking. No, I was, gonna, I was immediately going to go right back to it and just oh, say, like, okay. someone needs to tell him it's no longer trucker hat season. It was Kid Rock. He gave me this that hat. Sounds about right. All right. I've had one trucker hat in my life, and you know when it was? I'd love to hear this. I'm going to blow your... I was going to say blow your back out. <laughs> I'm going to blow your back out. Please I'm going to blow don't. your mind. Yeah. Um, Jackie Sweet 16. Remember how she... Oh, she had they custom... Had, they had like custom like graffiti ones. What did yours say? F money. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to get one, you got to have it, you know, be representative of your personality. Frankie showed up to this Sweet 16 that was like, oh, it's like... What was it, the 20s? Themed? It was it was a roaring 20s th themed Sweet 16. I showed up in a black shirt. Yeah, so our, it was like me, you, Dylan, Josh. Uh, uh, Impy was there. Impy, yeah. And so I heard roaring 20s themed, and she was a pretty good friend at the time, you know? Yeah. I'm like, all right, uh, I need to get a zoot suit. Frank was like, oh, your party? Attention's all on me. No, because they... You fuck you! Frankie. Fuck you, you dude. You showed up <laughs> looking like a... 1920s the only thing you were missing was a tommy gun yeah you know why because that was the fucking theme fuck you what do you mean i'm a, i'm not an attention whore here he had, he had a big hat with like a like i had a big hat if you've seen the mask you know when he does the dance where he's in the yellow suit at the coco bongo club literally that that but gray gray dark gray yeah fuck you what do you mean i was attention seeking that no i wasn't saying that i was saying that you were just like I'm gonna. This is no. That was not the intent. My you were intent. If anything, my intent was to fit in because I, in my head, was told it was gonna be a theme. I thought more people would do it. Okay. Much to my chagrin, they did not. Yeah, there was like four people that were dressed as flappers. Yeah, it was. It was like not even the girl who Sweet Sixteen it was didn't do the theme either. Kind of dressed like Jessica Rabbit, if I'm not mistaken. She probably did. I, I think she was just in a red dress. Red dress. Uh, which is very Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. But then her mom did it. I did it. And I think that was it. Yeah. And then you guys all showed up and just as... Black shirts. Every 16-year-old boy does. Black button-up, black tie, sleeves Gray rolled up. Gray pants. Sleeves, yeah. sleeves rolled up. Sleeves rolled up. And you were probably wearing like white, you know, white Air Force Ones or something. No, I was wearing regular shoes, but I was doing a lot of pointing. I remember that. I remember... A lot of this. A lot of... that. that we have a very famous picture... Very famous is a is a what? <laughs> a very famous picture. We should have a picture. We have a picture. Yeah. My picture of me and my zoot suit is a little more famous than yours. What is this term that I don't know? Zoot suit. What is the zoot? That's what it's called. Why is it a zoot suit? I didn't name it. I'm saying. Are you insinuating that I came up with the name? Obviously, you didn't. But what is what is the, what makes it zoot? Like, how is it different than a regular suit? I don't know. I think it's just extra zooty. Frankie. Oh, because people were probably smoking that gas in it, that and zaza, zooted. and they were fucking hella zooted. They were smacked. They were smacked, sauced, hella zooted. What, um, never mind. <laughs> no, what, uh -oh. I, I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. Um, but. Video came out. Video came out? A video came out. On oh, out yeah, we just had a, a video come out with a, a, a um, competitive eater came in, and we had him compete against uh, Frankie, Danny, the other Danny. And then Ryan Lynch. Ryan, Lin Ryan Lynch's feature video debut. Yeah. First time. Not, not, not going to be his last either. Oh, I hope not. Yeah. The no. guy is a star. Yeah, he is a star. He is a huge star. Honestly, a lot of coin. 
he actually texted me after that video because he competed uh, against the Eater. You yeah. can watch it at youtube.com slash uh, Santa God Studios, by the way. But he competed uh, against the Eater with corn. And all I could think about was like how much, because like I have like a, a regular amount of corn at like a barbecue. And you find it in your bowels for days. Well, like I just find like all of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they ate a lot. Ryan ate like six or five, yeah. which is a ton of fucking corn. A lot more than the normal person. So you got to be shitting straight kerns. He was probably like just like shooting out his butt. Like, he, you know, you know, like those like those poops where it's just like, you know, dribble drabble, like little pellets. You're pooping like a deer. Like a deer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you I know what I mean? That. He had to have done that for a day and a half. Yeah. It also, I, don't, I don't mind pooping like a deer. Okay, well, that's good for you. I mean, you know. That, you know what? That makes me, I understand anal bees because if you ever poop when you're constipated and it's those little pebbles, it's like, oh, I don't mind that. That was kind of cool. Well, I don't, I, I, I don't think people are Agreed using anal me. beads because they're cool. No, if people use anal beads because of the sensation, I'm saying. I think because it's a horny thing. Like, it's well, like, yeah, fuck, I'm saying the this sensation. Is horny, this is horny on my butt. The sa- sensation of the beads coming out is what they like, I think. I would assume it's the pleasure they get from it because yeah, it's like. that's what I'm saying, though. It's all getting, like, pressed up against their, like, Wait, prostate. When it comes to anal beads, do you think the sensation is. On the way in or on the way out? I think the way out. I would say it's it's probably, it feels like for people that are into that shit, it's like dope going in because it's like, yo, they're stuffing they're stuffing the butt. They like to be stuffed? And then it's probably like you hold it. It's like doing reps in a gym, you know what I mean? Like you hold it and then that last one, it's like the relief of when you're done. No, I think on the way out, it's the dope one where it's like pop. Yeah, but it's relief. It's like when you pee, dude. It yeah, feels... relief is fire. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Coming is relief, bro. But co- coming is a form of relief, absolutely. There you go. Uh, but I got to assume that it's... You think the way in's cooler than the way out? I never said cooler. I said I'm sure they get a lot of pleasure from the way in, too. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you... which one do you think is doper? You never, you never hear about it, anal bees on the way in. You only hear about them on the way out. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to funnel this thing in there. You gotta just kind of pack it in. It's. I assume you gotta go like one by one. How many beads do you think you could fit in your shit? Don't say none because you could definitely warm that fucking hole up and get some in there. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you do? You know something about me? I don't. I don't know, but I know that butts open. I mean, what size beads? Are we going like? Oh, I don't know that. Like gumball, or are we talking like? Uh, Gumball. Use like issued like like U.S. issued coins for you know reference. I don't think I could. I, I don't think I could put a golf ball in my butt. I'm sure you could put a golf ball in your. I'm butt, sure with dude. like you know. I'm sure grit you... and determination. I could. Yeah, with you know that 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 entrepreneurial spirit you have, you can do anything. I could figure it out. Yeah. I'll put a team behind me to uh-huh. help me. But yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't. I don't. I don't know. You've created multiple gumball though. I could. I could throw a gumball in there. A go oh, gumball. Easy. I, 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 it's like lemon heads. Whole box. All right. Wow. Yeah, well, those are small. 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 Boston baked beans, a little smaller. You could probably go the same. Boston baked beans. I've never had them, but I know what they are. An unlimited amount, I think. Yeah. I mean, you, you poop more than that a day. Yeah. Uh, I would say, all right, if we're going dimes, because they're the smallest coin. No, that's easy, buddy. You can go. You can go. How many dimes do you think you can go? How many dimes can I fit my ass? Yeah. Bro. But At like it's least. not it's not flat. I'm saying like dime size spherical oh, shape. I was like dimes, dude. I could probably fit twenty seven dollars in my ass. Wow, that's that's a bit much. It's for real. It's two hundred seventy dimes. But dude. they're very dirty, so you could get some sort of. Oh like, yeah. You can't have change in your. Yeah, you've you heard of people swallowing nickels and they go blind or something like that, right? I've never heard of that at all. I definitely have. Uh, so uh, dime size balls. Let's go. Let's go. I could think. I could do a ten. I could do 10, probably. You, you could do 10, okay. I think so. You could do 10. I think I can do 10. Pennies. Probably still 10. Isn't that the same size as a dime? No, it's a little bigger. Dimes oh, are yeah, the smallest. Yeah, yeah. Which makes no sense. Nickel. Nickels. Nickel. Oh, and a little girthier, too. Yeah, I'd probably go seven. I would say seven or... Yeah, I'd say eight or nine, actually. I don't think there's much of a difference. Quarters, I can only do a dollar. <laughs> Quarters. You can only, do a, you can only go four, for a buck? maybe four before I no. get scared. Oh, the, all right. That, that would I'll make sense. i get a little scared. And also, if you get scared with your butt... Because you have to relax it. But yeah. if you get scared and it closes, yeah. once the portal closes, you might not come back. Once you, well, yeah. Once once you leave the upside down, you can't go back. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, dollars. Then there's gold dollars. Oh, let's just, You'd be shoving Susan B. Anthony up your butt. Yeah, I don't think... I don't know about that. Half dollars. Who's on that? Kennedy. Half Yikes. dollar. Yeah. 
No, I couldn't fit a half dollar in my head. Get the fuck out of I here. I think you could, dude. Again, with enough grit. I, I was going to say, yeah. I mean, <laughs> look at you, the amount of apparel you've made. You can definitely translate that into shoving something half dollar size in your butt. I don't know, man. That's a little fucking scary. Yeah. But then again, people are getting fisted in their butts. Yeah, bro. There are people. I'm sure there's sci- scientifically it's possible, but like m- mentally for me. I have seen human fecal matter that is like basically like this, this big. That's insane. You could do it, dude. How, how, what do you have to eat for that to happen? I don't know if it's amount that you eat. I think, uh, if I'm being honest, do you want me to be honest here, Joe? Yeah, I want you to be completely <laughs> honest with me, with all of your heart. I think it was, like, a homeless person who doesn't often eat enough to shit, like, on a regular basis. So it just, it just gets packed in there. So you think homeless people are shitting bangers? I think so. Is that your, like, hypothesis? That you think that homeless people don't shit regularly because they don't Not- eat enough? So that means that they shit... Pipes. I, I believe so. That is my theory, and I am sticking to it. Well, I don't know how, how much I agree with that. Why what not? about people that go on, like, diets and shit, or, like, juice cleanses or something? Well, they, they don't... They can't be boofing too hard? Yeah, they don't poop... People that go on juice cleanses don't use the bathroom because they have no food in their stomach. Well... It's just all pee-pee. Yeah, but do they pee-pee out the back... About the back I, window? I, I did a juice cleanse for three days, so I can talk about it. Um, He's basically an ex... I was going to say an Epster. Uh, Epstein? Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, careful with that okay, one. sorry. Don't throw that around. Uh, you, I can confirm. Do you think Epstein was a bad guy? Joey. I'm just asking. Yes. Okay, move forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I think I'm going to start doing that from now on. Just throwing out easy ones. <laughs> yeah. And just see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just kind of. Do you not know where I stand on most things in oh, the world? Oh, we just gotta find out. I'm just oh. on record. Right? Oh, you don't. Now you, it's you, on wax. Now it's on wax. Yeah, 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 it's been printed. Yeah. Um, I forgot what I was saying. That just threw me for a fucking loop. I tried to say something and I said Epstein. So. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, don't remember. I don't know. We were talking about shoving shit in your. Oh, oh, oh! The juice cleanse. Like you pee a lot. Yeah. You pee a lot and that's it. Like you just are always hungry. It was not cool. So no boops. I don't remember any boop. Maybe like the first day, it's like cleaning out what you got in there. But then that second day, third day, and onward, I don't think you're doing much much of booping. Damn. I would like to try a juice cleanse. I've never done one, but... You should. It's it, Honestly... I, I feel like it's just like a lot of sugar, though. Am I crazy? It's Yeah, it's, it is because it's all fruit. But you could also do lower fruit juice cleanses, like uh, fucking vegetables and shit like that. Like oh, the, Probably disgusting. Oh, dude. I did one that was so good. It was beets. Red cabbage, carrot, and ginger. Fucking awesome. Frank, listen. Uh, it's not delicious. No, it's, it's it tasted like, good. It's like doable. And like, no, it tasted good, dude. Bro, beets are not like a, a like a. a They're tasty earthy. Thing. They're earthy. Yeah, and cabbage just... is a little spicy, and so is ginger. That's why I liked it, because it was a little spice. But carrots are sweet. Like, to the taste. They're naturally sweet. Not really. Yeah. Carrots? Yes, dude. I have a juice in my fucking apartment right now. Okay. It's just straight up, it's carrots, ginger, and turmeric. Yeah, ginger and turmeric are super fucking spicy, dude. I'm just saying, though, you, but it's carroty as shit. What? <laughs> it's mad carrots. There's like 36 carrots in this thing. Okay, what's your point? Do you yeah, know how like it's, strong... It's, it's like you know strong, dominated by the carrots. Bro, do you know how strong turmeric and ginger are? You can use, you can have 36 carrots and you have this much fucking turmeric and it'll turn your... Ma- like, it's, it's insane. Let me ask you another question. Ask me another one. Go ahead. A Bugs Bunny carrot. With the leaves? That's pretty fire. Can you, no, can you fit that in your ass? Up to the leaves so that you have a little green tail. How, that's long, dude. It really depends that's, where you buy them. That's long. I mean, you can obviously get. If you go upstate and do that, no way, because they have big They got big ass there. carrots up there. Yeah. But like you go to like a, you know, like a Whole Foods where those organic carrots are a little shorter and smaller. Yeah, yeah. You know, when they're more, you know, akin to you than me. Also. Hmm? The carrots, when you really think about it, that's the most butt-worthy fruit there is because they start out small and yeah. then get bigger, yeah. which is exactly what you want. They absolutely do. Not yeah. that I know. I've, I've just you, I do, I've done some reading. You've, I'm sure reading is what you've done. I've done. I've done it. I'm reading with your hands. They are made to be shoved into something, whether it be a butt, a mouth, or anything else. Mm-hmm. Bajiny. A bajiny for sure. Uh, they they are they are scientifically you know, uh, engineered to work. 
Well, that's just the way the world works. But not scientifically. I would say that they look at the way that they are created. By Earth. Yeah, high altitude, low opening. You know what I'm saying? You ever think about this? No. Maybe the Earth is God. Because the Earth, right, according to science, yes. and shit, and shit, and stuff, yeah. creates everything, right? It grows, it does this, environments, this and that, whatever the fuck, <laughs> environments, ozones and shit, All weather, that. yeah, Weathers. fruit. Weathers, fruits, ozones. The three things that Earth makes. Resources and yeah. shit. Yeah. So, if God created, you know, whatever, maybe God is the Earth. Okay. And we're, and you're throwing fucking litter on God's face. I'm not littering, bitch. You're littering. I don't litter. You definitely litter. When do I litter? You told me the other day. You were like, yo, fuck littering. I love it. Frankie, I'd never said that to you. Yeah, you did, dude. I didn't. I don't litter. I don't. Okay. Um... That's a good. That's a good point. Maybe the Earth is God. Maybe the Earth is God. I mean, there there are certain like uh, ideologies that believe that uh, uh, you know Gaia, which is Mother Earth, is is a real like Gaia. Yeah, G A I A. You never heard of Gaia? I've seen a, a porno once with a woman named Gaia. I'm sure you have. Was she painted like the Earth? Was she painted like the Earth? Yeah, I would assume if they're gonna put someone named Gaia in a porno, they're gonna make her Mother Earth, and they're gonna have Mother Nature fuck us. No, but similar to the Earth, she was mostly water. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Listen. Man. I come on here and I tell the truth. What are you? What, are you, what else are you coming here? Yeah, for? Yeah. What, what else are you coming what here for? Besides the truth. The truth. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Where you feel? How do you feel on God? You believe in God? Whoa, dude. What? You can't ask someone that. You what? <laughs> you, just, you just asked me if I thought Epstein was a bad guy. Yeah, and, and I answered with a with a resounding yes. <laughs> yes. And I'm asking you a simple like you believe in God. Um. I don't. It depends. I, f I feel like that word is kind of uh, have been jumbled and bumbled. It's been hijacked. Is what I don't you're know saying. that I believe in God in the way that a woman in her. Whoa, dude! You don't <laughs> believe in God like women? Holy shit! I was gonna say like a woman in her eighties probably believes in God. Women, in, women in their eighties. Well, because they're about to. They need to like repent. They need to like people get super religious toward the end of their life because they know who they're gonna be talking to in a couple weeks. You know. <laughs> no, I don't know that. I, I, I honestly, selfishly, I think I'm just not gonna think about it until I have to. Yeah, that's how you I know? think sometimes too. Yeah, whatever. I'm like, right now, I don't believe in God, but if he apologizes, if I apologize and he's cool with it, I'll, I'll talk to him down the yeah. road. It's kind of like how I believe, like it, with my belief in ghosts, where it's like I'm not gonna say no, just in case they, because they, you don't want to upset them. Yeah, I don't want to, you know. So well, I'm trying to poke the bear. What were you saying the other day about stupid religions and stuff like that? Um, I wasn't. Yeah, I think you were. Absolutely. No, I think you're always trying to set me up on the show. I absolutely am, and one day I'll get you, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Do you have a favorite uh, dictator? <laughs> <laughs> Technically, you do have to have a favorite. Well, I would because say they're all bad. They're all bad. But one is your favorite. But no, no, I have. They're all tied for least favorite. But one of them no. stands above the rest. No, 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 no. Frankie, which dictator do you hate the least? Well, so I, that would be. Your that's favorite. interesting that you brought this up because you were recently telling me the one that you most feel connected to. I never said that. You did this. say that. Don't try to flip this on me. I've, I can't flip anything that well, is who's already. Who's your favorite dictator? I don't have a favorite dictator, Come Joey. On, man. Uh, honestly, right now, you. <laughs> Fucking Joe Joseph yeah. Patrick Michael Quinlan Sanagato. Let me ask you a question. You, Never mind. Okay. What? No. Come on. No, I, I had I had notes, but it's on my different. It's on a different computer. Notes. Yeah. About. Just a random man. I wanted to see what your get your opinion on him. No, I, I, go ahead. Now, now I'm I don't have them on me. So you so you don't remember this person's name. I remember their name, but that's not the point. The point is, I was gonna. I have some facts about a person. I wanted to see how you feel about them. 
Okay, this is this is a setup, and I know exactly what I'm you're trying to do. I'm not setting you up. You're definitely setting me I up. I don't have anything. I can't set you up if I don't have the thing. Well, no. When you do have the thing, you will be setting me up. You're a little, I will be you're a little butt hurt. You up. You're a little butt hurt because I made fun of your trucker hat. Because this isn't 2006 Von Dutch, Joey. Frankie. This isn't. You're not bringing trucker hats back. I don't give a fuck. No one's trying to bring anything. back. You're trying to bring it back, dude. Hair flip, bangs, trucker hats. That's the three things you've tried to bring back most recently, and I'm not fucking here for it. <laughs> Yeah, you think I wouldn't notice in your videos? You got bangs now, Joe. No, sometimes male bangs are not cool. I don't have bangs. I just sometimes my hair gets a little long before I go, and then my hair naturally curls this way. So why is the rest of your hair perfectly faded? I just got, got him, ladies and gentlemen. I just got a haircut. I got you. Though. You still, yeah. So why didn't they work on your fucking bangs, Alanis? I don't. Alanis. Morissette. She had bangs, right? I don't think so. Mm, nah. Wrong one. You know, swing and a miss. Um. Fine. You know, you've, you've done a, a, a methodical job at jumping around your favorite dictator. But I we'll know, get to I that. don't know. We will find and out don't, who it is. No, don't you dare, because I know what you're about to do. Don't you fucking Who's dare. Who's your favorite billionaire? Honestly? Yeah. LeBron James. Work your way around that, you stupid bitch. Good fucking answer. Work your way around that. He's a new, he's a new billionaire. He is probably. a brand new billionaire. Mark Cuban ain't doing such bad things right now. He's trying to he's trying Whoa. to do some, trying to do some healthcare stuff, right? No, dude, he was just in the news. Uh oh, what did he do? Fuck, dude. you didn't hear about this? No, fuck, bro, you didn't hear about the, there was like a huge report about him being like mad racist to his like staff. Stop. I swear, you know, you didn't you didn't read that? No, is that why you have that big poster of him out there? No, I also just made that up. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh man! Honestly, though, he's white, so it tracks. Well, it could happen. Well, Cuban, know. is he? Um, I don't think that's how you get your last name. I think I think you're so. not Frankie Spanish. Well, I'm sure people would come to the U.S. and the U.S. would just bastardize their last name and give them names for whatever. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if they were like yeah, his ancestors came. They're like, where are you from? They're like Cuba, and you're like, all right, you're Patrick Cuban. Mark Cuban ethnicity. It's got to be like fucking. Check. He's got a big face like a Spanish. He's a he's a Romanian Jew, I think. Russian? What? I've been saying a lot right now. Um, he's he's a he's a Jew, working class. Well, that's not true. He was his parents. He's not really working anymore. Well, he is still working. He's on Shark Tank. Well, you know, not the class. <laughs> Yeah, he's a Romanian Jew, I think. Wow, weird. He's from Pittsburgh. Okay. Who's How did him? he end up in Dallas? Uh, bought the team. Oh. That'll do it. I don't know. Yeah, that'll I don't relocate know. I it. don't know, Joey. Um, I know. We were speaking before about butt plugs and butt beads. But anal beads? That's what they're called? Anal beads. And there you was know a, this. There was a story that recently came out mm -hmm. uh, about one uh, Kim Kardashian. Who's that? Um, she is a... Uh, I know who she is. Oh, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, I know. You have. You watch that video Pete all the time. Pete Davidson's girlfriend? Oh, fuck you. No. Pete Davidson's her boyfriend. Don't you dare disrespect her like that. Wow. <laughs> Man, ma misogynist right here. No, but I... I'm actually... You know me. I'm a big Kim fan. You are a big Kim I'm a, fan? I'm a Kim... Kim? I'm a... Soldier? A, 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 what I, are they? I always argue with people about Kim Kardashian. Yeah, I used to be the other <clears throat> side of the coin where I was just like, this fucking, what is she doing? New wearing, talent. It was skimpy outfits. I love when people talk about talent. It's like, guys, what are we doing? Welcome to the internet age. There's people who go online and make millions of dollars just filming themselves walking around San Francisco. Talent. There's people that go online and get their asshole waxed for the world to see. Yeah. And scream into cameras about anal beads. Yeah. No talent. Come on, guys. You know, uh, talent's gone. I used to be the other end of that coin. I really did. I used to be the other side of it, where I was just like, "She's so fucking. Who is she? You know, like the whole she, family has no talent. No so. talent. You know, you know." But I've come back around. I I respect Kim Kardashian. Um, yeah, I respect the fuck out of her. Because it's not like, only she's famous for sucking a cock. It's like, bro, you all suck cock. Uh, bro, I, you know, no one's got a fucking that much money. Bro, if I got, yeah, talk about cock. All I'm going to say is that if there were certain things that made me as famous and rich as her, sign me up right now. A cock? I'm not saying it. A cock. I'm just saying, like, yeah. you know. You're going to tell me you wouldn't take a billion dollars and all you got to do is just do one bim blom? Without question.
<laughs> That's it. A billion dollars, bro? That's stupid. That's insane. Also, if I know that if I had to, if I had to suck ween to have a billion dollars, I would not spend the billion dollars like responsibly. Oh, because I would just do it again. Well, because it was just like now I have to like really go hard because I had to, you know, really for me suffer for this money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Because it would no mis- make no mistake, it would be a suffering. It would you be suffering. you would be doing it begrudgingly. That is correct. Yeah, but if you like earn it slowly, then like you can invest your money and stuff. But like if I gotta like slam a cod. Well, that's a no-brainer. But she came out and said if it meant keeping herself looking younger, she would eat poop. Right. She did say, I actually have it pulled up right here. She said, I'll try anything. That's how it started. That's, that's, a, it's a, heavy, that's a heavy start. So she's been peed on because that's not, that's not nothing. That is something, and she would try it. I mean, I guess so. We don't know too much more of her sex life outside of that one video. Uh, so I guess anything. Are you familiar with the video? I'm not actually. I'm pretty familiar. I bet you are. <laughs> Joey, Gaia, Gaia wasn't in that. Video. Joey has the link tattooed on his leg, just in case he ever forgets about it. Right behind my knee. Uh, she said, "I'll try anything. If you told me that I literally had to eat poop every single day and I would look younger, I might. I just might." That's heavy, dude. It's kind of bizarre. I gotta say, I. She does look super young. Though. She, you know, takes good care of herself. I don't know if... I think that's where I would draw the line. Bro, eating shit? Shit's a toughie. I'm sure... She, obviously Maybe she, if I threw it into like a, a, like a, re, like a, a smoothie. If it was... I'll tell you this. If it was like a smoothie that was like in a bowl the size of the fucking Meadowlands, I'll eat shit all day. I don't know about that. But I'm saying like if you throw like one turd into like something, you dilute it. Nah, like you wouldn't eat this much shit. A ball of shit. Yeah, but it gets blended into your smoothie. I just put like bananas oh, in there. <laughs> but bananas and peanut butter, I guarantee you won't taste this shade. Actually, I don't but know. I would know it's in there, dude. That's the issue. Right. I, I would know it's in there. I'm starting to get fucking... Ugh. I, there's some stuff that I don't like eating, but when I put it in a smoothie and just blend it up, I don't know. It's yeah. I, I can't really taste it. Famous, famous story about me. Mustard. Hate it. Yeah. But there are things I've had that have mustard in it, and I don't realize it. Yo, by the way... I've always been on your side with the mustard shit. Thank you. Which I still am. I appreciate that. But, yo, honey mustard's fucking amazing. Nah, fuck it. Fuck it all, dude. Honey mustard's really good. Mustard legitimately tastes like throw up. Like, you know when you burp and you burp a little bile? Yeah. That's what mustard tastes like. It does. You can't convince me otherwise. People just like that taste because they're fucking freaks. Yellow mustard is fucking disgusting. It's, and, and it's been bastardized to the point that it's like, this doesn't look healthy or normal. Like, I can understand, like, people like, like, gray poop. If you have the poop. The gray poop on. The, the poop. I get that. Because that's, like, a higher, and, you know, and then they have, like, whole grain mustard where it looks like, you know, deer poop, basically. Oh, there's, like, red beads in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, yellow I'll mustard? I'll dunk a pretzel into that. Ugh. No, thank you. I'll dunk a pretzel into that. No, thank But would you, if it meant that you would look like this, bangs and all, for the rest of your life, are you eating poop? <laughs> Uh, I would probably I would try it. Really? I don't. I wouldn't eat just like a shit. Well, I mean, you, I I assume you're you know if if that is the secret to keeping you looking young, you're gonna have to eat a lot of it. What? No, no, no. I, shit. No, it depends. It depends. If it was like bro, if it's in moderation. Like yo, you eat like, you know, you eat like this much poop twice a week. Twice a week, dude? Dude, two smoothies. Bang, bang. Oh, my goodness. Bro, to, to keep looking hot? If it was like every pound of poop you eat, you live an extra dude. 10 years. Yeah, dude. I would at least get one pound. I least. would do one a year, dude. How long do you want to live? Wait, what? I'm saying I would a do like... A pound of poop. A year. If like that's You the would do car- a pound of poop? Uh, if that's the carbon date on it, like if that's how long it'll fucking... The shelf life... Yeah. It'll keep you alive for an extra 10 years, a pound of poop. How often are you doing it? I'm saying like once every two years, maybe every year. Yeah, I'm not. I was saying I would only do it once. I would add like another 10 years to my life and that would be it. I don't want to be 100. But what if you were going to die tomorrow and then you just. I'll tell you this right now. (laughs) I'd eat a lot of shit. Right? That's a lot lot of poop. I'd eat at least six pounds. Another 60 years. I got in me. Yo, six pounds of shit is ridiculous. Uh, I 
trying to visualize what six pounds of something is. How much you, you ever see Jurassic Park? Yeah, dude, that's a <laughs> little more than six pounds. Yeah. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Kim Kardashian eating boom. Yeah, I, I don't know about this. Uh, all I know is is that uh, Liquid IV. Oh uh, my God, is, Jesus is Christ. <laughs> Liquid IV is one of our sponsors, and they're great. I mean, I have them all the time. I literally had one this morning, the watermelon flavor. It is out of this world. But Liquid IV is going to help you stay hydrated. Uh, they also have uh, some that are, uh, will help you uh, stay focused and energized. Uh, and they also have some wellness packets. So basically, it's a powder. You pop it open. You throw it in 16 ounces of water. Stir it in, and then you drink it up. And uh, it gives you uh, five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. Uh, made with premium ingredients, non-GMO, and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Uh, but they're great, and they're super effective, and they're, they get you hydrated quicker than water does because of their cellular, te cellular transport technology. Hello. Uh, and they are also on a mission to change the world. They have donated over 20 million servings globally. So it's a great company. Love Liquid IV. Uh, I was cleaning a room in my apartment the other day and I found another shipment from them. So I have another extra fucking bag. So if you're running low, gotcha, bud. Uh, but yeah, you can go grab Liquid IV in bulk at nationwide at Costco or for 25% off, uh, you go to liquidiv.com and use the code basement at checkout. That is 25% off anything you order when you use the promo code basement at liquidiv.com. Uh, again, that is liquidiv.com and the code is basement. Uh, next year we have Stitch Fix. Uh, Stitch Fix will keep you looking fresh and nice. Uh, basically like hiring your own stylist. You go on their site, you fill out their style quiz, and you put in you know, your height and your weight and what kind of fit you enjoy. Some people like a slim fit. Some people like a more relaxed fit uh, for shirts or pants or whatever it is. Fill out all this stuff, what kind of patterns you like, whatever. Um, and then they start pulling uh, clothes for you. Um, so you don't have to really do it. You don't have to be up on the trends or whatever this is. You have a personal stylist that kind of works for you and will send you five pieces to try on at home. You keep what you love and you send back what you don't. Uh, shipping uh, returns and exchanges are easy and free. Uh, plus, there's no subscription required. So try it once. It's great. I've tried it. Love Stitch Fix. I think it's awesome. Uh, sign up today at stitchfix.com slash basement to get $20 off of your first purchase. That's stitchfix.com slash basement to get $20 off of your first purchase. Limited time offer purchase within two days of sign up. Okay, folks. Um, moving on here, uh, we do have uh, an interesting story that I wanted to talk to you about. And before you get to that story, I do want to remind the folks out there, the good friends over at patreon.com slash the basement yard. Who are those good friends? It's me and Joey. We're good friends of you. You're good friends of us. <laughs> patreon.com slash the basement yard. Sign up. Joey's going to be doing something at 12K. We're kind of readjusting, figuring out exactly yeah. what we're going to be doing. Um, but something humiliating, painful, uh, quite possibly life threatening, if not life ending. Uh, so um, we, make sure you what? check it out at patreon.com slash the basement yard. We appreciate all of our friends at the Patreon. And what do you get for being patrons? <clears throat> Not only do you get to support this beautiful face, uh, shaved face, you know, something going on, uh, but you also get to support uh, 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 us, the show, okay? That first tier, you get these weekly episodes a week in advance. So when you go on YouTube and you see, oh, I just hit the, I just hit the fist under the table, which is another part of this. But those weekly episodes you get every single week, well, you can get them a week earlier with that first tier. And then that second tier, guess what? You know how I, you know, I came out of the drawer, that little rubber fist? Uh, well, guess what? Those are Patreon-exclusive episodes that are a little saucy, a little dangerous, that uh, get released every single Friday. So you can start and end your week with The Basement Yard. So go check it out right now, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We're continuing to break records. We love and appreciate everyone that has gotten us this far. And, you know, hopefully we'll keep getting farther and keep breaking records. <laughs> I've started doing a new baby talk thing to my daughter. You start a who? Doing a new baby talk thing to my daughter. Go ahead. Where uh, she'll do something and be like, you're crazy. <laughs> You'll say what? I'll be like, I'll just like get like deep like that. So like she'll do something. I'll be like, she's a big time. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see when you have kids. Yeah. I, for some reason, that one bothers me more than any of them. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. Even like what I would do like this one. Like she's a big time baby. That one I like. Okay, so if like I talk a mysterious you, lisp, yeah, like a detective, like, uh, like I'm a not de really sure. <laughs> a rejected detective from the twenties. Let me tell you something. Something a, is something's going on right now. Something's off. <laughs> there is three t big timers in this room. 
Um, but the other one I hate. You don't like the other one? No, I don't. So I'll be like, you're crazy. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that. Damn. That's yeah. upsetting. I feel like everyone knows a kid who used to sound like that when we were younger. Oh, yeah, absolutely. When they'd be like, Mom. Yeah, and you're like. Ugh. They're taking my clothes. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, you sound 40. What taking, the fuck is that? Taking my clothes. That yeah. was okay. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so they're taking my clothes. What's going on with this kid? Um, I wanted to talk about a, a, a love story that mm. I found in the news. Um, we all love a love story. We all love a little love. I love love. You love love. I love love. Who you love love. You the love. Devil. The devil hates love. That's right. The devil does not love love. He dis. He does not stand for it. Um, he? Huh? You're not. You're not a feminist, Joe. You don't believe the de- devil could be a woman. I think that would be misogynist to say that the <laughs> devil would be a woman. I almost got him, folks. Yeah, you're trying. Um, <clears throat> so, I found the story of a man uh, in a relationship, um, sex life, their words, super special. Okay. Um, and um, It's important. It's an Arkansas man. Okay, Arkansas. Yeah, Good. and his name is Nathaniel. Because obviously, well, he's from Arkansas. Ar- Arkansas. There Nathaniel. Are three, three, yeah, three names when you live in Arkansas. Nathaniel. Yeah. Billy. And Bubba. Um. And he's in. He's uh, in a relationship with his car, a 1998 Chevy Monte Carlo. Wait, what? I'm oh. not familiar. He's. he's oh, he's, it's he's his car. Oh, he's like the like the woman that has sex with a roller coaster. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. I'm going to look it up. 1998 Chevy Monte Carlo. I feel like there's Chevy Monte Carlo. This is not a nice car. Really? I'm trying to think. Chevys are fine. You know what's a sexy Chevy? A Cobalt. This bro, is, that's what you're attracted to, dude? That's the wackest car. Bro. That is the worst car I've ever seen. I'm not saying I wouldn't fuck a car. I'm saying I wouldn't fuck this car. What kind of cars you fucking? Like like some like sporty looking Something thing. Something sexy, right? Yeah. yeah. Something where the headlights like... Oh, I think oh, those are like Mazdas. Those are not very sexy. Well, no, there's like old Ferraris that do that. Really? Yeah, I would slam it. So like Ferrari. a 1990 Ferrari. Yeah. You like, fucking it? Yeah, why not? That one's whack though. That looks like the first vibrator you ever get. Yes, it's yes. Like white and plain. Or it's mm-hmm. like off white, and it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's just whack. Yeah. Hey, listen, for vibrator uh, manufacturers out there, white's a bad color for those. Why? We can agree, right? For for a for a vibraby for like a little bullet yeah What's that called? like a, a bullet bullet I think like a fifty cal yeah 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 you know why is it why is white a bad color I mean white is a very it's very susceptible to the elements it can change color ah. fairly quickly so you're saying maybe something a little different color yeah you know you don't know it's like if that you put it in white it comes out beige then you got some trouble well that could help you I know you're an entrepreneur yeah. I just thought of this. A vibrator that detects UTIs, STDs, uh, baby shit. Well, uh, pregnancies. Yeah, that's what I meant. Bro, holy, but they don't pee out the vagina hole. They pee out the pee-pee hole. Bro, there is piss around. There's piss all over that place. Come on. Dude. It, There's okay. piss on the walls. Let's make, it, let's make it work. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good idea, though. You know how they made those, uh, the what's it called? Um, the nail polish for women to dip into drinks to test if there's any drugs in them? It could be like that, but with, like, health. Yeah. I didn't, what? You never heard about that? That's actually a good idea. Yeah, it's 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 a nail polish that you could dip into alcohol or drinks, then it can detect rufalin or or whatever you know. Bro, what a psychotic drugs move. are out there. I can't even like. It's hard for me to even believe that one person has done that. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, a lot of people have done that, and then they made a rap song about it. Rick Ross. N- yeah. Yeah. Um, but so this guy is going to Bone Town. Yeah, he's a he's 37. He revealed he was in a sexual relationship with his. Uh, oh, it's red. That does Ooh, change that, something. That does me. change a little bit. That's yeah. a Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, back in 2012, uh, he was featured on fucking My Strange Addiction. Okay. Good for him. Um, and he did say, "Oh wait, oh shit, this is gay." This is gay shit. Wait, what? this is gay car shit. Oh, he's gay for his car. That's a guy car. Yeah, he he gendered Whoa, his he gendered is... his car as male. That's pretty cool. He's he's car gay, yeah. but I wonder if he's human straight. 
could you be car, gay, and human straight? That's a, I mean. I mean, know, I assume you can identify as. You guys thought there was too many pronouns. Yeah. Wait till you start wait getting till you get, Wait until you get to the mechanics. Wait till you get to the car shop. <laughs> uh, but he did say, I like to lean over his fender. His, you know what I'm saying? Oh. oh did right. I say his name is Chase, the car? That makes sense. It's a very, it's a very car name. That's my dead dog's name. That is correct. Your dog is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like to lean over his fender and across his hood and kind of press up against him. Mm. Nathaniel said of how he engages in intercourse with his vehicle, which he has gendered as male and affectionately named Chase. Chase is a, that's a good car, sexy car name. Ch- fuck yeah, that's a fucking dad and like um, lightning, like bolt. Yeah, I don't know why. I was th- wow, that's weird. <laughs> Dude, we might be like I thought Lightning McQueen from Cars. Oh, maybe that's why I thought yeah. that too. Uh, one of the more bold positions is for me to be underneath him. That's dangerous, dude. Damn, dude. Getting under there like a fucking mechanic trying to fix the transmi- is he- transmissions up top. Yeah, I don't even know. What's is underneath? He- I don't even know. Oh, uh, pipes. Yeah. Is he driving this car? Does he get off when driving it? Because it's like a power thing? Uh, where he's like, I'm going to turn your fucking wheel. Ooh, I'm going to put you in park. And then you're going to put me in fucking doggy. Yeah, I don't know. He said the driver additionally revealed that he frequently masturbates while standing next to the parked car. I would, even, I would get in the back seat and slam it. Yeah, I would. Because that's got to be. Come in that car, that's, dude. Dude, <laughs> nut in that car. Blow fucking loads in it. You know? <laughs> Show him a car with cream pie. Dude, come in the glove box. Now we're talking about. Come, in the, come in the tailpipe, bro. Yeah. That's whoa, some dirty whoa. shit. Ooh, that's the asshole of the car. That's the, definitely but the, the asshole. But the glove box is the vagina. I would assume that's more of the mouth. Oh, maybe that is the mouth. Maybe that's the, the console is the Because the, the glove box. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you shove it. Wait, what? That's a glove box. You can shove your wiener in it. Yeah. And just, you, you were talking about you put all your papers and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can and like... in the console. Maybe that's the vagina. The, I think that's like the face. Like you could sit on a face and you sit on like that center console. Like the nose. Oh, no, that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the nose. What then are you talking about? Head, uh, this rear view mirrors are... Or side view mirrors, obviously ears. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh, you would, you know, you would have someone suck on them. Remember, you were telling us how you'd have your mom suck on your earlobes, you freak. Yeah, I wish I could refute that, but that's a true statement. <laughs> I did, I did have that, but I was young, bro. You making it seem like I was fucking fifteen? All right, I'm sorry, thirteen, whatever. No, I was younger than that. What car do you think would get you there? And like, I'm let's let's do car that you would date. Because this guy's in a relationship with his car. Yeah, he's, that's cute. I I hope committed. Yeah, yeah, he's think, committed. And then. What car would you would be like your fuck your fuck buddy? Your What's vehicle like your vehicle car? with benefits. Probably like a like a probably like one of those really expensive exotic cars where you're like oh yeah like, but you would never date one of those. I I mean like that's like a those cars are all taken by the billionaires, Joe. Yeah. You know. <laughs> That's the thing is those cars are all all right. They're, they're just spending the time on Ocean Ave in Miami. I, I, I got the answer. Okay. Honestly, the answer might be as as weird as it sounds, the Range Rover, because you got to figure for a date or for sex for just sex, just sex. Yeah, because I feel like if you have a Range Rover, then you're like, you could be a fucking asshole. Yeah, because you come home with a Range Rover, your parents could be like. What? How did what? you? How, what is it? Just yeah, like you yeah. know, you know. But then you want to come home with something you're gonna marry that the parents are gonna like. Yeah. So a Range Rover, you're like, oh, it was dope. Oh and my like, god, it was the best eight months of my life. Exactly. You know. But I'm not gonna keep. You yeah. Know what I'm and saying? then you meet a nice Ford Escape. Yeah. Well. Okay. Uh, you you, <laughs> you meet a really nice, cute. Like a like a like a, maybe a BMW. Uh, you may, uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a white BMW. You want to order a German bride? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You meet a nice BMW and the parents bring it home and like it shows off, you know, it yeah. has, you know, it has a, it's an, I would accredited, love a it's an accredited vehicle. I would love a Ferrari, but you know. Yeah, but you know, Ferraris I'm are not hard good to, enough for a Ferrari. A Ferraris are hard to come by because I, yeah. a lot of Ferraris sometimes are there just for the money, you know? They're good to look at. They're good to look at, you know, but it's like, like Jennifer Lopez, Ferrari. What's under the hood? Not a whole lot. We don't know. But then you get like a BMW, which is a, a car that you can bring home to your parents, you yeah. know, went to school as a good paying job. And it's it's solid, and like it's, it's not cheap. It's, it's a beautiful car, and you can see it being a responsible yes. partner. And it's not cheap, 
but it's also not super expensive. It knows what it wants. It's in that little like. It's in that little area. Yeah, like an upper little. You know, like the BMW is like, I'll order lobster, but like you need to pay for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know. It's not. It's not something that you. It's can, like I live on my own, but I don't have a balcony. And you're like, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yes. You know? Yeah. It, I, I'm right there with you on yeah. that one. But, you know, that. I would well, say. Which one are you going for? Ooh, that's tough. I mean, the 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 horror car. Um, <laughs> it, <laughs> uh, hmm, let's see. Boy, that's tough. I mean, I think I'm a really good guy. Yeah. So I think like you know like a mess around car. I would I would say like yeah. you know I would say like a like a. I would say a BMW too. You oh, know, you'd, because, you'd, you'd, because I think that's my limit. Like I think you know, whore up a BMW. But then I would meet a, the love of my life. You know, is like a you know a Denali, just like responsible. Oh, that's a big bitch. Well, you know, every every car needs a little love. A Denali. You know, a Denali or or something like a Nissan Altima. I'm very I, I fell in love with my Nissan Altima. Like a Maxima. It's a something? reliable car that I can trust with my life and I know that if I were to, you know, build a home, that Nissan Altima would be there. It's not gonna leave you for another drive. It wouldn't. It's responsible and it knows that I would never do anything to hurt it either. Right. You know? Um but yeah, it's it's Everyone knows their their type, and this guy's type is a Monte Carlo. This guy gets it, and honestly, I'm starting to fucking get it too. Yeah. What color are your cars? The 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 Range oh, the, the, the Range Rover. Well, the, Range, Range Rover. Rover is hard because whenever you think of like an exotic, like you know, like one night stand kind of car, I always think of like red. You know, Ooh. Like, Ooh, just like exotic. Just red. wearing like coming up with like red. Maybe a, 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 a you gotta have red pumps. A range with red interior. That's slutty. Uh, you would. And I nice. think. I think you would want pink interior. Well, yeah. Yeah. They don't make pink interior. Oh, they'll make it if you ask. They might. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then what about the one you're bringing home? That like mom, dad. This is. It, it's just a regular. I think it's just a. A regular BMW, like stock, you know what I'm saying? You can't change people. That's right. You can't customize the love of your life. That's right. That's right. And you shouldn't, because you're the type that would bring it home and be like, I'm getting all this work done on this BMW because it needs to match what I like in people. I would be like, that is a beautiful BMW. I love that BMW for what it is. For what it is. For what it is. Right. And I wouldn't try to change anything about it. Now, if that BMW chose that, hey, I need some new rims. Oh, I need, I need some, you know, I need a fender. Hey, man. Yeah. It happens. I, I support you. Not my personal preference, but I support your, your, your autonomy. Right. You know, M6. Mm-hmm. But uh, and what, what are the, what's the color of the one you're bringing home? Hmm. Probably white or black. Yeah, knowing your preference, you'd probably stick with white. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got him. Woo! I was trying so hard not to let you do that. I know, but I did. But I, 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 I'm with you there, white or black. Yeah, because those are like the stand. I don't really like gray. Gray, but like I do like a dark gray, like a almost, you know, like it's like a heather or charcoal. Okay. But like a silver. I got my silver car now. It's forgettable. Yeah, it's just a car. You know, or like you can do something <laughs> wild. Like, you know, cars nowadays love to be painted blue with nose rings and, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know. Exactly. They got armpit hair and stuff. Would do you think you'd be the you'd think you'd be the type to uh you think you'd be the type to have multiple cars? I would only have multiple cars if I had somewhere to put them. So, if I had like a summer house, keep, I would put a different Keep one car, car up there, doesn't yeah. interact with the other car. Right, like an NBA player. We yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep one. Keep one. They on don't. The other side. They don't talk. They don't even know of each other. Really. Yeah. But you drive one during the week. You go away on business and you go see the one on the weekends. Yeah. That's and that okay. was fun too. And then every now and then, when you go on like a nice little vacation, you rent a car. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what you're into. That's hilarious. Oh my god. That is funny. This is one of our better bits, I got to say. I can't believe it's still going. Like and and, and it makes sense. It though. does. It absolutely like, makes sense. It really sense. does make sense when you think about these cars. Like it really does make sense. Yes. God, because you're young, you're single, and like you're like, "Yo, I want a fucking Oh, I can afford I can afford a wild car. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to have a blast doing it." Are I'm you gonna, talking about like a, like just like a like a like a 19-year-old 
19 year old that buys a fuck like that a takes crypto the, billionaire 19 year old that buys he's gonna, he's gonna have a lot of ferraris around him yes exactly yeah he won't know and what they're to all do. gonna let him down and they and he exactly and and they're only there for the money and he won't yeah. know what to do with them exactly he won't know how to drive them and you can't drive all of them he won't drive them at and all eventually they're going to break down and leave you and you're gonna have to sell them and then you got like you know, eventually those cars that you treat like shit because you don't know how to drive. Right. You don't know how to get to them, you know. Exactly. They go to the people that know how to drive. The professional drivers. You catch what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. And what are like... Because it's not about the person... It's not about the person in the car. It's about how they're driving. Mm. Catch my drift? The motion of the... Not the size... It's not the size of the pedal. It's the motion of the fucking the V6. or something, yeah. Yeah. Well... I think we can uh, get to Shopify. Uh, <laughs> Shopify uh, gives entrepreneurs the resources once reserved for big businesses. So uh, startups and established businesses alike can sell everywhere, synchronize online and in-person sales and effortlessly stay informed. If you're scaling your business or you're on that sort of thing, you're doing e-com, uh, definitely check out Spotify. Probably the best platform to be using. If like, I think it's the best. It's the only one that I use. Don't use anything else, just Spotify. Um, everyone I know who owns a, a business, big or small, they use Spotify to set up their online stores. Um, it's great. And they have an entire suite of like uh, features and, and ways to track your analytics of like where sales come from and whatever and retargeting. It's, it's, it's great. And if you are thinking about doing that and you want to gain some insights about Spotify, uh, you can go to spotify.com slash basement, all lowercase for a free 14-day trial and get... Full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow your business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash basement right now. Uh, that is shopify.com slash basement. Go check it out. And lastly here, we have Harry's. Uh, Harry's razors. All right, go check them out. They deliver a close, comfortable shave at a fair price. Still as low as $2 per blade. Uh, you can get a Harry starter set for just $3 or get free engraving on any premium shave set for dad. When you go to harrys.com slash basement, the perfect gift for Father's Day, which Dad! is coming for Father's Day, which is coming up. Uh, it prioritizes simple quality craftsmanship that gives you exactly what you need. Uh, like I said, the new Harry's customers can get a starter set for just $3 or a limited time through Father's Day. Get a free engraving on any premium shave set at harrys.com slash basement. There's never been a better time to try Harry's. Go to harrys.com slash basement to start your own Harry's journey. All right, go get something for Pops. Go get something for pops. All right? Um, okay. What else do I have written down here? Oh! Fucking what's her name who was on our show? Steph, Ma the, she was shitting and selling, what was she doing? Farting. Selling farting. Yeah, she was farting. She was selling farting. She was selling farting <laughs> in, and jarring the farting. She was jarring farting and selling it. Jarring farting, making money. Yes. Uh, but now she has... Oh, I saw this. She has diversified, and she has progressed. Real entrepreneurial spirit out of this girl. If you guys didn't see that episode, go back and watch it. Uh, selling her farts has moved on now. Has moved on to selling her boob sweat. Jars of her boob sweat. Uh, all you need is bottles, sun, cha-chas, or cha-cha bingos, which are titties. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> and sit out like a maple tree for hours. <laughs> What? Where did you come up with cha-cha bingos and sitting out like a maple tree? Well, the maple tree thing is in here. Oh, that's in the report? Cha-cha bingos. Those are titties. The, the, what are the cha-chas, cha-cha bingos, bing-bongs? Hammers. Hammers. Thangs. Thangs, I, you, you remember you've used thangs. What else? Boomers. Bangers. Uh, well, titties. Yeah. Pork, Press, pork so. chops. Pork chops. Um, bags. You've used bags a bags, lot. You've bags, used bags, bags is another one. Yeah. Full bags, baggage. Uh, so is that what you mean when you always tell me about everyone you know that has baggage? Okay, yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, she makes thousands of dollars a day selling her jars of her boob sweat. Back at it, huh? Yep. And she actually said something very interesting here. Each bottle of boob sweat costs five hundred dollars, dude. And that, I, I mean, I assume how much is she filling these bottles with? Are they like little vials? Yeah, they're like vials. Oh, you think there are freaks out there that are... Oh, God. They're are they drinking, drinking it? <coughs> I would do that. I would put that in a smoothie. To live longer? Oh, yeah. yeah. If it mean, meant to live... Yeah. Yeah, drinking sweat's easy. Drinking sweat is not bad at all. But it, it always reminds me of that thing from Jackass 3. 
You don't remember? Bro, I'm legitimately crying. Yeah, why? Because that's fucking gross. Which part? Stop. No, I'm serious. The drinking sweat. Oh, yeah, that's not great. Um, where uh, Preston Lacey is on an elliptical and he's wearing a plastic suit. Oh, yeah. And then they squeeze the sweat out and drink it. Yeah, that's Oh, disgusting. my God, that's so bad. Uh, but yeah, it cost $500. And within a week of starting the venture, she has sold more than 50 jars. 50 jars in a week? Within a week of starting the venture, uh, $500, 50 jars. 500 times 50 is 25,000. Yep. Is Checks it? Out. <laughs> is it? Yeah, 25K. Oh, look at that. Look at me. You have to claim that on your taxes? How do you claim uh, yes, that? Yes, you have to claim that on your taxes. You a- make money. Uncle Sam wants some of it. Yeah, but it's my shit. Doesn't matter. You know. figure that's capitalism, babe. You figured out a way to make money. You got to give back to the people. The government owns her sweat. The government technically owns her and her sweat. The government owns all of us. She said, "I like to call myself the human maple tree, and boob sweat is my sap. I sit there and collect my sap the same way a maple tree does." Does she do like how? Remember, she previously did with the that she would wipe her butt and the farts with uh, a rose petal, mm-hmm. and then she'd shove it in a jar. Right. And then sell it. Right. Uh, Good for her, man. This girl is, she is making moves, apparently. She's caking, man. She is figuring out how to just profit off of whatever her body secretes. And she does have some bingos. (laughs) Okay. Good for you. (laughs) For me. I mean, I guess good for her. Good for them. For the people. Well, good for the people. Well, also good for her because I think if you have smaller bing bongs. I don't think this sweat has anything to do with the the banana sandwiches. I think it's all about. If you have full bags, it generates more sweat. But I don't think anyone's gonna look, look at be like this is big boob sweat. This is little boob no, no, sweat. No, no, I'm saying it, you, it's just easier to generate. Sweat. Oh yeah, but I could also I could generate probably just as much sweat as her, if I not sweat like definitely more, crazy. dude. Yeah, I sweat like fucking hell. I could start swelling my fucking bonch sweat and boom, boom, boom. We'd, yeah, that, we'd be making yeah. a couple hundred bucks a day. For real. Can you imagine? <sighs> Yo, how much would it take you to smell my bonch right now? How, what do you mean smell it? Like I got to put my nose against your fucking Like gooch? you shove your hand in my bonch and take it out and smell it. I'd rather just, well, Jesus Christ. Or you, I'll put my hand in my own bonch and you smell my fingers. Oh, not a lot. Say like a swift handshake and a hug. Is that money? <laughs> it's valuable to me, damn it. And a hug. And a wow, hug, yeah. Man, you're really selling it. Uh, sometimes it can vary how long it takes to fill up a jar. Uh, as it depends on several scientific factors. Okay, you're really milking this, Steph. She, well, she's milking herself. This is this is smart because remember with the farting, she she her diet caused her to go to the hospital. She had to adjust. Now adapt or die. Now all she has to do is just drink water, stay hydrated. As she said, on several scientific factors, mainly the heat, movement, and how hydrated I am. Oh, it's so, not really several scientific. Factors. So this girl it's figured out because I remember during our conversation, she said that people were telling her to like. Remember she was saying someone was telling her to like run on a treadmill for them or some shit like that? Oh yeah. So like she was just like, oh, all right, you, you'll fucking buy my sweat. I'm calling you out. And listen, I, there's some girls out there that got some sweaty fucking boobies. I don't think it has to do with the boobs as much as it just has to do with the sweat. Of course, but I'm saying if you have big sweaty bags, <laughs> okay, it's easier to fill up shit. Some people don't sweat, even if they have big bags. I really don't sweat from... I sweat from literally nothing. My, like, nether regions, outward. I don't sweat. My I head sweat. sweats. All of my sweat is, you know, where the kraken lives. My armpits barely sweat. My head pours. There was a time where I was on steroids, uh, medically on steroids. <laughs> I just want to make sure I make that clear. Yeah. Uh, and I would literally be dripping sweat from my armpits, just, just like sitting in a room like this. I remember feeling and looking and seeing the drip coming off of my arms. Damn. Yeah, it was what not steroids cool. Steroids makes you sweat. Well, it just enhances everything. It was uh, uh, called prednisone. Was there anything cool that it was enhanced? No, but I was told I couldn't drink. So opposite of cool. Damn, that's fucking wild. Yeah. What What else was I supposed to do at fifteen? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Fifteen. I was, I was like twenty one when I had to take them. When do we start drinking? <sighs> I always tell people that we started drinking late, which I think is true. Nope. Well, what do you, you started what do you, drinking a little before me. What do you consider late? Like 17? Definitely not, Joey. Absolutely not. I was 14 
Uh, yeah. yeah, but I wasn't drinking when you like went to your. With your I would go hang out with our, my sister at. Well, your sister went to the same school. Yeah. And I would drink there. Yeah, but I wasn't drinking back then. Yeah, but we had gotten drunk together. You weren't drinking consistently, but Maybe like one time we had gotten drunk together in like 2006. What was that birthday party? Which one? Dom's. The day after I got my concussion in 2007. How old was that? We were. You were 15. I was 14. I remember that. I remember that specifically being like, this is the first time I'm drinking beer. No, because we had gotten drunk on New Year's prior to that. Me and you. Remember when you took your shirt off, swung, and the glass fell and cut my sister's foot? What? You don't. Hold on. No, this is alleged. I. I don't. I, that wasn't me. Yeah, oh yeah. Mm -mm. We stole Mike's hard and Coronas. There may have been some thievery. And we were drinking in the basement, and we had like three each, maybe. And you, as the ball dropped, took off your shirt, mm -hmm. swung it around like this, well, knocked a champagne, a champagne glass out of my sister's hand. It fell. She stepped on it, cut her foot. Right. That was you. Well, I mean. We weren't drinking like every weekend. But there was a time where we started doing that. Oh, yeah. It was, I would say, consistently. I was at your house like every weekend. 16, 17. Really? Yeah. Because 16 was when I had that big, my 16th birthday party at the lake house. Where you were awesome and picked up a, can, a beer can like this. Yeah. For a picture. I wanted people to know. Yeah. <laughs> I was, okay, so that was, that was your 16th birthday? That was my 16th birthday. The summer oh, so of 2008. Maybe, so maybe I just, I've been lying to myself. You have been lying to yourself quite a bit. And then I uh, guess it just felt late because I felt like kids in our neighborhood would drink earlier than us. No, a lot of the kids that we knew that were drinking earlier were older, like fucking you know, like 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 John Hickey and Jeff and them. They were like two, three years older, yeah. but we were like drinking at like four, fifteen. Definitely me at fourteen. You at like fifteen, sixteen. Hmm. Bro, when I was sixteen, I was going out to bars and pretending to be twenty-one. Yeah, you were not because you could not pass for twenty-one. No, I was a little skimpy boy. And to be honest, I shouldn't have passed for 21, but I did. And yeah. it was wrong, Miles and Ruby, if you're watching. Your daughter's one. <laughs> <laughs> she has no idea what's going on. Yeah, not yet. Um, all right. I'm all trying right. to remember like what other times we had drank before Dom's birthday. I, 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 that was the first time I ever had beer, I think. I'm serious because I think... No, I'm telling you, you're wrong. But I'm pretty sure I was 15, though. That was 15 when that happened. No. So I could be right. If it was New Year's, you were 14. No. So, yeah, but we had Mike's hard. I'm saying this is the first time I had beer. And we had Coronas, too. Why do I not remember that? Because you were drunk taking your shirt off and swinging it around. I was not blackout drunk. I never said you were blackout. I was excited about the New Year. And I, I supported you. I could have I could have been swinging my shirt for a number of reasons you're happy when the ball dropped you know 2006 uh good year trying to think who was uh, uh sean alexander on the cover of madden that year you were probably very excited for that yes definitely wanted that yes and also uh we played a lot of manhunt that year. we did play a lot of manhunt that is confirmed we had a lot more freedom less evil in the world well we just didn't know about the evils in the world that's right that's right it wasn't until a couple of years later that we had been you know brought up to speed right um, but yeah, you know, we were, we were relatively young, Joey. Cause think about it like this. I had a, my like high school girlfriend, we started dating in the fall of 2000. I mean, this, the winter of 2007, the beginning. And we were drinking then. What the fuck does your girlfriend have to do with that? I'm just relating it to time. That's what I'm saying. It's like, I just like, don't remember, I guess. I remember going out to like clubs when I was like 18. Yeah. Well, that was, we all remember those days. Yeah. You'd go to Noah, uh, studio, studio, studio 30, 34, 30, 34, uh, studio 34, Imperial. Don't yeah. think I forgot about that one. I've only been there twice. You know that? Yeah. I'd only been there once and it was the worst experience of my life. I had fun there. Um, but, and what were, what was the other one that we used to go to? Uh, well, uh, oh, Re it was, Remy. It was Noah. It was Noah. Oh, well, Remy went one time. We went, I, no, I went like three times at teen night. Oh, really? I went one time. It was Megan's birthday, and then we slept at Saad's house, and his cousin called me a sperm. I remember that, and there was a kid that had a, a hole in his head. You don't remember that? that was, part of it was like, yo, I think I got a hole in my head, and someone like in the pitch black just yelled out, well, fucking fix it. 
Oh yeah, someone like Ramel or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but he called me a sperm. I was like, I don't know. Is this like? Yeah, uh, how we didn't get reported to the police for all the stupid shit we would do at that kid's side's house beyond me. Yeah, we would legitimately break into his home. We did scale the side of the building. We did, but they did make it easy. Also, and so they deserved it, right? There's a well. I'm just saying, it's you know, make it. I know exactly it. what you're saying, and I don't support it. <laughs> There's a video coming out soon. I'm just gonna say it. Whatever. We played, we had like MP go on the street and play pay the price to some people. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to tell you something else. I was like, no, no, no. I was, I was watching the edit and Sod's in it. Just in the background? MP just ran into him at fucking Washington Square Park. I was like, Sod? This kid just it, appears, man. With, I think he's like engaged. He was like with his like fiance's family or something. Oh, he wants, and I'll say it because I don't give a fuck. Um, Whoa. I was, I like went to, uh, the pizza place that we would go to, um, Rocco's? Rocco's with my then girlfriend and she was like sitting on my lap and he was sit- hitting on her while sitting on my lap. Fire. It was uh, quite the time. Yo, I miss Rocco's $2 for a slice. Man, boy. That's when you introduced me to those red chili flakes. Game changer. <laughs> it's an absolute game changer. Uh, let me ask you this serious question. A thousand dollars for a week. You can pick out to live a week at any point in your life. But you will be like gone from this part. Like you'll black out now, wake up, and you'll be in a week in the past. And then when that week is done, you black out and you're back here. But a week has gone by. Would you do it? Like that's what vacations will be in the future. Like you don't go to fucking Barbados or Greece. You like go, go back, back to, to your past. childhood. How f- oh, like some Westworld shit, dude. I would probably just go back to and do like a like a. Oh, like one of those Connecticut weekends that like we used That's to a good have like one. a really good time. I, it's so tough because I would want to do one of those weeks where we would wake up and fucking play tackle football all day. Yeah. But then we got school during the week. And that would yeah, suck, dude. That would be whack. I would be super whack. But like in the summer when we were younger, it was literally like, I, I mean me, I was up at like 730 at the park with Dennis and like no one else was at the park. I remember that. And then I'd go home and then we'd all meet at the park and like then go back to the park, play basketball or whatever. And then at night we'd either play football or we'd play football, then go home for dinner, and then come back out and play manhunt until like eleven thirty when I had to be home. And then we would go on Xbox and play Modern Warfare. Yeah. Two all until night. 4 a.m. Yeah. And then I'd be back up at seven at Dennis with the park. What a time. That was that was a great time. I barely slept those days. Yeah, well, now, we didn't need literally it. Literally my day was like wake up, go to the park, go home to eat, go to the park, go home to eat, go to the park, go home, play manhunt. That was yeah. Good. That's it. and and it's kinda weird, like we would eat like so little and like shit. You know what I mean? Like, I actively remember, like, over the weekends, it would be, like, pizza and Subway, pizza and Subway, pizza and Subway. Yeah. But I would burn it off because we were just fucking running full speed the whole weekend. Yeah. Those are the days. But would you, would you do that? Like, some Westworld shit where you can go live a week in the past? Um, maybe. I probably would do it just for, like, the, you know, whatever. But a week is a very long time. I would go back to, like, if I had to, like, relive a part of my life, it would probably be in Connecticut, like, we all were there. Mm-hmm. Like, one of those weekends where you would just go and just, like, get fucked up for fucking three days straight and also, like, never be hungover. Yeah, you'd feel perfect. Yeah. You'd wake up like, yo, awesome, I'll start Let's drinking again. right now. Yeah, like, I wasn't even, like, bloated back then. Like, Bro, it just made no sense. I, I didn't start feeling the effect, because I don't think I get traditionally hungover. I don't get, like, headaches and, like, nausea. Hungover. But... I feel tired, so I guess that's a hangover, but, like, I still, like, I didn't start feeling that until I was, like, 25. I only get hungover if I don't eat anything and then drink liquor. But if <sighs> I, I could drink beer and, like, nothing. Damn. <sighs> Those are the days. Good times. Um, but, anyway, uh, that's all for this week's episode. Frank, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me burning Joe's trucker hat immediately after this. And then uh, Alvarez 8085 the Alvarez on Instagram. And then, like I said, go check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. It's always a good time. Yep, and you can follow me at Joe Santagago. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram, and that is all. See you guys next time.